Um, okay, never have I ever had a crush on a fictional character. Oh, oh my god. Does that god. mean like an actor, like Chuck Miles? Yeah, like a fake character. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was a cartoon with... character, Danny Phantom. <gasps> okay, well, I didn't go cartoon I didn't do, character. I, I said fictional character. <laughs> I didn't have good Danny Phantom. <laughs> My first thought was like John B. Like I wasn't going like John B. Of yeah. course, but Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Car- if we're going cartoon, I'm trying to think. Interesting. I think Chuck Bass is my like. Yeah. Chuck but you know, Bass. really funny story. I'm gonna spill tea Nathan. right now. Nathan. I don't know if we're gonna. Can you can you approve it by me yeah. before we use it? Yeah. We're gonna be using it. So I met Ed, Ed Westwick um, with mutual friends out and about whatever, and we were just out, you know, hanging out, partying, doing our thing, drinking, have a couple drinks. And we went back to an after party or a place where we were around a small table. And I was like, <laughs> can you please be Chuck Bass for a second? <laughs> I you told him to get into character. Did you not? I was like, pretend I'm Blair. <laughs> Stop. And did he we say? We were at a point. What of, did he say? He you were, refused. You were <laughs> fucking <laughs> role playing, but he was like, I don't role play. No, yeah. I was just yeah. like. I don't know. We were just drunk and having fun. Whatever. Yes, I was like, yes. can you please for a second, like just for my like childhood yes. and the nostalgia that I would have asked the same thing. Can you please be Chuck Bass for a second? And he was like, I think he may- maybe did it for like a second. Also, we were like, keep in mind, not in our rights. Mind. Right. He's so. also British in real life. So like he, he can yeah. very much like turn on Ironic. the Chuck Bass and turn Weird. it off. Yeah. yeah. I can say that 100% Francesca Mariano would Drunk screaming, ask Chuck Bass to get into character at Chuck 100%. Bass. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I've actually so had she more crushes on fictional characters when than we, I have real life people. When we were with the Jonas Brothers, <laughs> oh my god, I saw you guys tweeting about them. Like <sighs> Fran was, didn't they fall? Did, okay, did, did we interview you guys? Or no, but Fran was telling them things. I was like, Fran, loose lips. I had a couple <laughs> drinks, and when I have a couple drinks, I can't <laughs> shut the fuck up. We need to get her. It's on. not we only like on, it's like have a couple drinks and then put me with the man that I was obsessed Which with one? for Nick? decades like Sh- like nick. Nick? nick me too that and was, and that was my just, pick like, she'll fight you on the spot don't even act like you like nick more than fran no, I swear <sighs> don't I even act now. like no it, it <laughs> was like, week. like i the fact that i was even able to form words was impressive that's so all that's all i'm gonna say about that wait what was what, you met them yes they yeah, came we, on our we show did an interview we toured the Coors the brewery with them cheers we to Coors. we we cheer uh cheers we did cheers them but we toured the Coors <laughs> brewery with them in denver and then they came on our podcast afterwards we also saw them play at penn state and then we all wow. went to a bar at penn state together after how did this all they how did this all happen um well one i'm obsessed with them and i told our talent booker that i would literally die to like have them <laughs> um on the show um but they it actually all started with uh, Barcel had a best bar college ba- uh, college tournament. I'm gonna do this spiel in two seconds. Everybody's Vespa? listening is like we've heard, we've heard about this a million this. times. Okay. okay, all right. So best bar competition. It was like March Madness tournament. You vote for colleges and their best bars. Penn State has one called Champs. Best Shout- bars. Best bar. Yes. Okay. Shout out Champs. We love Champs. Champs. Um, the 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 man who runs Champs. Is, Champs is a bar. Yes. yes. Champs is a bar. State. Okay. At Penn State. Is like childhood best friends with John Taylor, who is the Jonas Brothers. Like he was their guitarist and then he's on their management team. Oh, and okay. so all of a sudden, Joe Jonas started tweeting about Champs and the using like hashtag Barstool Best Bar. Like, and we were like, why is Joe Jonas involved in this? Like what's yeah. happening? And so we got involved being like, well, if Joe Jonas wants Champs to, to win, we want Champs to win. <laughs> So um, the guys at Champs reached out to us and said, hey, come when the Jones Brothers are playing at Penn State. We went. Um, we had, we, you know, had great tickets. <laughs> we went back to Champs after. They came back with us. We had drinks. We <laughs> chatted. We met their manager. And we said we would really love to have them come on our show. Wow. Um, so how do we make a, that work? Now having drinks. It was good networking. Yeah, and then their manager, you know, reached out to our talent booker and said, hey, we, um, the Jonas Brothers are going to do this limited edition bottle of Coors Light. They're going to be out in Denver. Wow. We can announce it with the girls. If you want to send um, Rhea and Fran out to Denver, we'll hang out at Coors. You can do the interview and we'll announce like that they're doing this beer. And it worked because Coors was also mm, a sponsor That's of our show. That's the only way I ever heard of it was through yes. you guys. So you guys are exactly. So it. Yep, yep. So <laughs> there it was you go. through us. And we were like, wow, this is perfect. They're a sponsor for us and they love Coors. And it was just a match made in heaven. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful love story between us and the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. All right, let's do. Okay, I'm going to do <laughs> one like, more. Right, two more, two more <laughs> okay, quickly. Well, okay. Okay, hold on. 
Oh, some of these are like some good ones. I saw the stupid one that was no. I know. I'm never ever looked under the stars. It's like what? What? Never have I ever dated someone ten years older than me. Are you trying to shoot at me personally, (laughs) Fran? Just say it to my face. I think she was. I was. (laughs) Say it to her face right now. Um, take a drink. (laughs) We know. Tens the cap. Um, Yes. <laughs> for me personally is it, is it the game I, I i mean i feel like age truly truly is a number and granted there's i there's only so much connection that can be built like true genuine connection but i've heard so many stories that are like girls dating like way older way yeah, the 85 older. year olds dating the like the 20 really year old. up yeah. there yeah, yeah, but yeah. they happen to be billionaires majority of the time so i'm just like right it's really happening here yeah but i don't know i don't know okay well she should I'll take a sip that. of that yeah, um yeah. okay <laughs> never have i ever um i just skipped it now i gotta remember what it said oh called someone called a partner the wrong name no i have actually never done that no what if you didn't remember what that partner's name was? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> A full-on partner? No. No, no, no. Um, Not full-on partner, but, like... Somebody who just... At some point, like, one of the first couple of times that you were, like, hanging out with them, hooking up with them, whatever, and you... And you... You went to say their name and it wouldn't come out? <laughs> no, my friend knocked on the door to make sure I was okay. Or that we were, like, good, whatever. And I was like, what's his name again? And, oh, no. Uh, no. It was Mike. <laughs> oh, my. Well, at least you guys it had was a really beginning stages. We at least you guys had a long, like, like great relationship after that. It, no, incredible. No, but that was just like, does that count? Maybe cut that. <laughs> <laughs> we can end on that note. I, I, I like ending on that note. She's Unless like, Fran I'm starving. Yeah, no, Fran's I, like, please, no. can we go eat? No. What are you pausing on? Right oh no, now? I was looking to see what else was on there, and I, I nothing good. good. Yeah, those. Were, I think those were good ones. Yeah. Well, Josie, we're not going to cut that out because now we have to keep that as our <gasps> last one. Sorry. <laughs> I was drunk. 